Hey there YouTubers, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we have a, another lesson on loops. We're going to actually learn how to loop through a named range. So what I've done is I have named this range of just a few states here in the United States. And as, when I select that list, you see that it is named states underscore list, as is defined right here at the top. So we're going to loop through each cell in that particular range. Now what if the cell was not just one column wide? What if it was like this? And that was a named range. Well, it would actually go through each cell in the named range, but it would go from left to right, and then, uh, of course, up to down. So it would go here, 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 then it would go here, then here, 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 and etc. until it gets to the last cell in the range. We're just going to do a one column range called states list. So let's get started on how to loop through that. It should be very quick and easy. Alt F11 will get you to the Visual Basic Editor. And uh, what I've done here is I've actually double clicked on the particular worksheet we're working on called LNR. Uh, stands for loop through named range. I'm going to right click on that and go to view code and I'll zoom straight to this particular sheet. Uh, I'm going to create a new procedure, a new sub, and we're going to name this one loop through uh, NR, named range. Okay, you can call that whatever you want on yours. The basic thing is we, we're going to say for each something rather so we can name this part a variable we could say blah or we could say for each cell it doesn't matter this is actually a variable so whatever you want to call it just be consistent for each cell in and here's where we define where exactly is the named range now you could probably get by with using these brackets and just calling it states list just like that for each cell in states list and next cell and here of course we just do something so for each cell in this particular named range here you can put that in the evaluation brackets here um, and you might be able to get by with that um, I like to be a little more specific I will do this workbook dot sheets and the sheet will be LNR dot range and it'll be that name there. We'll show you that in a moment. What we're going to do with each cell in this range is um, we're going to analyze if it starts with uh, the letter M and if it does then we're going to make it lowercase. So this one and this one should be lowercase after the macro runs. So let's go ahead and uh, I'll erase my comment here and we'll go ahead and analyze it. So if cell, so if the leftmost of the string that is uh, the variable's name cell. If the less leftmost first letter, does that make sense, um, equals capital M, then I'm going to make a note and we're going to make lowercase. This is just an, a simple exercise you can do. So if it does start with an M, we will say cell, that particular cell, um, is going to be equal to um, let's see is it lower? No, no, it's not upper and lower. Is it L case? It's L case. There's U case for uppercase and L case for lowercase. So L case of whatever is in the object called cell. And so it'll make it be equal to its lowercase equivalent and uh, end if. Okay, so I'm going to click save really quick and let's just debug through this really quick. I'm going to hit F8. For each cell, see how cell is empty in states list? If I hit F8, we see that the first thing in this range is MO for Missouri. So if the leftmost one character of cell equals capital M and it does then the cell is going to take on the quality of the lowercase counterpart of itself so now uh, well that doesn't do us any good does it cell equals L case of cell hmm 
Oh, I thought that was going to change this. Maybe. My memory is getting sour. Alright, let's see here. Well, we can take the... Um, let's see if we can do something with this cell's properties here. Um, hmm. Wild stuff. Let's make this blah. Maybe cell is a built-in thing that we don't want to be messing around with. For each blah, <laughs> for each blah in that particular list, and this may be another result of um, not clearly defining the the range. We'll see. Lowercase of blah. Come on, Dan. Let's try that again. Okay, we're going to try it another way now. Let's do for each blah in this workbook dot sheets, and we're going to use the actual sheet name uh, lnr dot range, and the range name is states underscore list. So for each blah, for each something rather in this particular named range in this particular sheet on this workbook, uh, it's a mouthful I know, but okay. So, well, my goodness. Hmm. Uh, so we need to make blah an object. So let's see, dim blah as object. And now it'll take on the form of object. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to declare it so it doesn't have any question about that variable. Let's do this. Um, so it, it does take on Missouri. Let's see, left of Missouri equals capital M. Blah, the object of blah representing that cell is now going to be equal to the lowercase of it. And okay, so you see that it became lowercase mo. Next object called blah is AK, does not start with an M, neither does Arizona. Uh, Maryland does, so bam, lowercase. And rest do not and that's the end okay so that's how you loop through a named range so I'm going to recapitalize these and then let's loop, let's do that uh, macro one more time only in real time I'm gonna hit F5 and it's done this one and this one are now our lowercase thanks for watching guys and God bless